Okay, um, so I'm Jamie Gewertz. I'm a recent uh, graduate of the Robotics Master's Program. Um, I was really happy to have the opportunity to talk about it today because um, it was really a terrific experience for me. Um, so, uh, actually, just a little bit about me. Um, I started off actually as a biologist, which is kind of weird. I had a, uh, uh, I got a BA in biology from a small liberal arts college. Uh, I actually worked at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia for uh, about three years, uh, and that's really where I got interested in medical robotics. Um, and uh, that segued me into the robotics program. Uh, so I was, as I said, a strong interest in medical robotics. I'm also interested um, in bio-inspired motion, um, bio-inspired machines. So uh, while I was here, I worked in the haptics lab. Uh, haptics is the science of touch. Uh, I did a lot of uh, fun things there. Um, I was also a TA and a grader in the Mechanical Engineering Junior Lab, uh, as well as Engineering Entrepreneurship. Um, so I graduated this past December. Um, I had four conference papers uh, and three conference demonstrations, um, which was obviously um, fun. So you get to go to a bunch of different conferences, um, and this was in the haptics realm. I have two patents pending in two different fields, um, and I'm continuing work right now in haptics. Um, and I actually just got funding for a robotics startup. Um, so first of all, the faculty here are just amazing. Um, all of them are, are really uh, tops in their field. I've had an opportunity to work with uh, many of them. But when I first came here, since I was interested in medical robotics, um, and I was uh, um, interested in pursuing that route, I actually started work with um, Catherine Kuchenbecker, who runs the pen. Haptics Lab. Um, so uh, that's actually been a really great experience. We've done a bunch of uh, fun projects together. I'll just talk about some of those things. Um, but one of the great things about the Haptics class, which is one of the classes you can take as part of the robotics program, is Catherine will actually give you money to, uh, to do a project within the class as your, as your final project. And actually what you see here, this is um, one of the things that uh, I did in that class. So this is the iTorque U. It's actually an ungrounded haptic feedback device. The idea being, um, you know, if you're playing Wii, for example, uh, you get a little buzz if you hit the ball. But this was actually could generate torques. So instead of um, just uh, feeling a ping, you would actually this thing could actually twist your hand. Um, it's just a gyroscopic principles. Um, and this was, this was actually a really fun project. It was on the back of the Penn Gazette. Um, it was featured in the Penn Engineering Magazine. It was the subject of a couple of um, conference papers uh, as well. Uh, something else that we're currently working on, and this has been really actually a, a terrific project, um, is, uh, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the Da Vinci Robotic Surgeon. Um, but uh, the Da Vinci is a human-controlled uh, robot, and the robot does the physical work of the surgery, and the surgeon controls that robot. But one of the big issues has been that surgeons can only see uh, what's going on. They can't actually feel what the robot is feeling, so there's sort of this disconnect uh, between uh, their sense of touch and, and uh, what they're doing. Um, so one of the things that we've done is this uh, VeroTouch project, and VeroTouch is actually we're hoping will be the first system to put touch feedback into the Da Vinci surgical robots. And that's obviously um, uh, really exciting because you know, the first thing you put this on the machine, you see uh, we work closely with um, a lot of the urological surgeons and with David Lee, who's the head of robotic surgery over in the hospital. But when you put this system on, you see these surgeons you know, touching and feeling what the robot is feeling for the first time. Um, it's pretty amazing. Now this is just me hanging out with the robot. Um, taking some measurements over here. Um, and we've had a number of uh, conference publications. It's also, um, we have a patent pending on this as well. Um, but this has been really exciting research and we're running a user study actually this summer um, to just test and see how much more effective it is. Um, and in the tour, I'm happy to give people uh, demos of the system off of a DaVinci because they're about one and a half million dollars. We don't have the funding for one of those yet. So getting there. Um, so this is actually a rendering of, uh, of a robot that we're trying to build. You sort of notice it kind of has a weird transmission here. This was a, um, in one of my classes here, uh, we uh, developed this uh, transmission where you basically have two spur gears mounted at 90 degrees and it'll mate with this, um, with this gear face. 
um, and it gives you really nice organic motion. Um, and this we uh, Costas Danilidis, who's uh, head of the, the the Grasp Lab, actually arranged um, and really helped us get funding for this uh, startup. Um, so we received a Pennsylvania Tech Initiative grant uh, to do to do a company based around this concept. Um, and that's been that's been really fun as well. This was the, actually in the, in the initial class. Um, this was the first robot that we built. Um, this was actually a, a product design class. Um, and uh, so now we're looking at making these pods where you can do these various configurations, uh, things like that. But um, there's also so I was interested in medical robotics, but there's lots of other opportunities and things to do here. Um, RoboCup. So these are actually the old Ivo robots. I think we actually have some new robots here, but you know, people uh, work on this. I have friends that are doing um, you know, these sorts of projects, uh, people that are doing uh, vision, people that are doing planning. This is little Ben. This is our autonomous vehicle. Um, I have friends that also work on that. Uh, I don't know how many of you uh, have heard of the, the PR2 from Willow Garage, but a uh, few schools actually were uh, given uh, a PR2. Um, and Penn actually just received one, which is really an exciting opportunity because um, uh, we're, we're going to do some pretty cool things with, with these robots. Um, Segway robots, part of the plan lab, the, the path planning lab, which is also part of GRASP, um, with a scene here with a Barrett arm. Uh, one of the great classes I took was mechatronics. Um, this was a lot of fun. The, the culmination of that class is uh, you build these autonomous hockey playing robots. This was actually my goalie robot. Um, but uh, that class is a ton of work, but I recommend if you come to the program. Uh, it's really, it's, it's, it's great. Um, by the end, it, it, actually on this stage, everybody uh, has their little team set up, um, and, and they're really playing hockey, so it's, it's great. So why choose the degree, degree? First of all, there's a ton of support that you get from the faculty and from the professors. Um, coming from biology, it was a bit of a challenge adjusting to engineering life um, and I got a ton of support from the professors they're always available to meet um, and that was really instrumental to my ability to uh, to be successful here um, there's tons of resources throughout the university um, you know not all everywhere you go will have a da Vinci robot so we're fortunate to be able to work with the hospital um, but there's also resources within the grass lab um, you know, we get emails all the time for jobs and, you know, opportunities that uh, are here, um, and that's been really great. Um, so in terms of opportunities, as I mentioned, you know, I was into medical robotics, but I had friends doing path planning, uh, friends doing vision, machine perception. So there's all these different things that you can do within robotics, um, and that's, uh, that's a really nice thing to do because it leads to um, there being a lot of diversity. Uh, within the program. So you have friends that are doing different things and you can coordinate projects um, and, and that's always uh, nice to be able to sort of mix and match uh, your skill sets. So uh, that's it. I'm happy to answer any questions and uh, thanks very much.